Graham keeps his canaries, all 80 of them, in a small shed at the end of the garden. It's a hobby which takes up most of his spare time. And each night he spends about four hours cleaning, feeding and watering his prized birds. But it's this sort of meticulous attention which pays dividends. Among his awards, Graham has dozens of firsts, seconds and highly commended. Even though they're small, canaries have surprisingly large appetites. Most nights, Graham drives up to eight miles to pick chickweed for them. Then, for the main course, they have Dutch dehydrated egg, sausage rusk, glucose, added vitamins, mixed seeds, and a tasty shredded hard-boiled egg, all mixed lovingly together with a liberal dash of milk. To provide the added crunch, they have a separate dish of mixed seeds, including red and black rape, best Manchurian hemp, linseed, teasel and niger seed. Graham believes that a lively, interesting diet gives the birds added bounce and vitality. And did you know that with these strains of border canaries, you can have a cinnamon variegated cock and even a three-parts dark yellow cock? Of course, if you show your birds, they do need the occasional beauty treatment. First thing you do is make sure you've got nice, lukewarm water. Not too hot, not too cold. And your second stage is to catch the bird. Is this a difficult one? Uh, well, he's used to it, but, uh, you know, probably he's a bit uh, nervous at this stage. I might catch him in one, I might catch him in two. I got him, good. <laughs> Usually they jump about a bit for the first couple of minutes, but uh, after that's not too bad. It's always best to hold a bird in an upright position with its head up in the air, just in case it uh, gets lost. Then off we go with a nice water on the front part, not forgetting to hold its head up above the thumb, you know. The thing is, Graham, do they like being shampooed? Well, I think, really speaking, um, after a couple of good soaks, you know, they get used to it. Then we turn the bird over on its front, again, keeping the head up, and then we wet the back. As they're so small, you have to be very gentle with them. Oh, yes, yes. I mean, if you hold them too closely, naturally, you might kill them. You know, and uh, if you hold them too loosely, it might get away. After a good soaking again, we usually start off then with, well, I use a, a common baby shampoo. I always use this because it's very mild and it doesn't affect the eyes. Then, you know, I'm never afraid to use too much or too little. I usually give it a good old down treatment. And this makes them look really good for the show. Well, right? you know, you might get more points with a good shampoo bird. Keep in the down position again. Plenty suppose... of shampoo. I suppose you have to be careful, Graham, not to get water down the beak. Oh, yes, yes, you could, um, well, if a bird does get it down the beak, uh, it could be on the way out, therefore you have to try and revive it. How do you do that? Well, I usually try and give them, like, the kiss of life. Give me a demonstration? Yeah, sure, you know. If a bird has got plenty of water down its beak, I usually... And usually, unless they've gone too far, you can revive it. Like that. So shampooing a canary is quite an art. Well, for an experienced person, it comes easy, but I shouldn't like anybody to attempt it who doesn't know anything about them, because uh, you could well kill it. I usually give them a couple in there, and then over then to the clear water for the final rinse. Not forgetting this head to keep it well up. If a bird does struggle, you get birds now and again, I usually let it go, but uh, I've always got a quick hand to pick it straight up. That's where you find sometimes you have to revive it with a kiss of life. You make sure all the soap's out all the feathers. Then I usually let the water drain and pop it into the heated cage here. 
put it straight in there. This is set as 80 degrees. The bird goes in there, down. I've got a glass front. Face it down like that. In all being well, in about three hours it should be back to what it normally was.